Welcome to the programming languages area. So here you see a railroad a track and this is actually symbolizing a grammar. So in programming languages, like in natural languages, we have grammar, we have rules that say what are correct programs or uh, written sentences. And in natural language we have the same kind of uh, idea. Intelligent Systems is an active area of research at the UZ Faculty of Informatics. We work on many aspects such as artificial intelligence, data analysis, machine learning or robotics. In this area all visitors will interact with the humanoid robot iCub. Take a tour of a virtual city by giving directions to a small robot or go on a treasure hunt while controlling your robot with sound and music. Information systems about information. And the world today is information. And what you see here in the back, that's actually information becoming physical, which is actually an, a very new trend in information systems where we bring um, things like a 3D model, we can print it out. What you see in the background, in this case, uh, is a movie on uh, how the universe uh, in a certain sense was created, right, how the universe evolved. And this is a very nice example for computational science. So what do we do in computational science? We look at processes in biology, in engineering, in physics, in chemistry, and we try to understand these processes and to model them using mathematical equations. In the field of visual computing, we try to train the computer to see the world with virtual eyes and understand it as humans do. While in graphics, we do the opposite. We try to create images of the real world that are as realistic as possible so that humans who view these images perceive them as real. In questa esposizione abbiamo varie attività che si incentrano su aspetti dell'ingegneria del software, dal lavoro di gruppo in collaborazione di più persone per ottenere il software al controllo di qualità dello stesso. In questa attività parliamo del data path che è un circuito che sta all'interno di ogni CPU ed è il circuito che ci permette di eseguire le istruzioni a basso livello che sono poi le istruzioni che compongono i programmi che utilizziamo tutti i giorni come il nostro browser o qualcosa per scrivere dei testi. So we are the theory and algorithms exhibit. Uh, what we try to explain is how computers solve uh, problems. Here is the Turing machine. The Turing machine is a model of computation, a very simple model of computation. And uh, what is surprising is that what this little machine made out of Lego can do, the fastest supercomputer on Earth can do the same. So there is nothing that a big supercomputer can do that this machine cannot also do.